One of the other things you might want to play around with is making a horse. Take a little bit off of your clay, again round it out, and then elongate it, and just give it a little bit more of an elongation to the nose, and then you're going to want to put the nose in and its eyeballs. And of course you're going to want to have some ears on it, so let's take a little bit more, elongate it out. Taking our knife and rolling it down through the center, pinch them into position with your sculpting tool. You can create a little bit of a flat spot there so that it has the roundness of the ears. And the next thing you want to do is give it the neck. Elongate it out. A little bit narrower down towards the head portion than you have in the neck. If it's a little bit wet, it'll stick right to it and it'll dry that way. And you're going to want to create a mane on it, so take a little bit more, roll it out, and then flatten it. And then just slice it a little bit to give it the look of hair so it'll lay nicely on the side as you see there. And you're ready to go on with the rest of the body. You'll have to judge so that it looks in proportion with the neck. Elongate it out. You want to create the heavier chest area up here first and then a little thinner towards the back. Even though the big legs are back there, you're going to create the legs with, as you put it on, the depth that you need and just a little bit of wetness to it and it'll stick right to the body and then you're ready to go on with the legs. Roll it out to create, you want to cut two legs from this. So we'll take our sculpting tool and cut it right in half so you've got two legs. Now you could form your legs and let it sit overnight and dry but if you want to give it just a little extra um, structural strength to it, take some of the wire that was given to you in the kit and roll it into it so it forms the leg and we'll give it structure later on. You've now got two legs for the front and you can attach those to the horse. Putting one on and then putting the other on and then we can go on to make the back portions and round it out first and then elongate it. Now remember we want to make these symmetrical so there again we want to create two equal legs. We'll let it taper out a little bit towards the sides. Take your knife and cut it in half and there again flatten it down a little bit so that we can take the wire and put the wire into the leg to give it some more support. and attach that on one side and then on the other. With the wire in there you already have some support to where your horse will stand up. Whereas now as it sits overnight it will become stronger. Of course one thing you absolutely have to have on a horse is a tail. So I'll take a little bit more, round it out, elongate it, taper it at each end and giving it a little bit of striations here with your sculpting tool. You create the hair into the tail and then attach it to the horse. It now has its tail. Now if you want to get a saddle of course, let's take a little bit more and round her out and get rid of the seams, elongate it we want to taper it on each end because we want the saddle in the middle and we want to have some more on the edge here for the leg portions. Then flatten it out. Now here's where your texture comes in if you happen to have something like we covered earlier. Well, we have a little piece of styrene here that has some bumps on it so what we're going to do is push it into that and that creates a pattern on there for the horse's saddle 
Now we can peel that off. And see there's a nice little pattern on there. And you got a saddle. Let it dry and you're set for painting in the morning. <laughs>